you spoke to you, the tight end position's undergone a few mm -hmm. changes and everything. And I know you don't like to see anybody get hurt, but how much has that changed the role and, and how they can help the offense this year both by losing a couple of guys? I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, Keo being, you know, being out, and unfortunately what happened, and then, you know, Evan, you know, going through what he's going through. And it's just, you know, it's just two, two, two really unfortunate things. And, uh, you know, Keo, you know, is, and, and Evan are both going to be part of this team still. And they're still going to help us out as best they can. But, you know, moving forward, um, you know, hopefully Nick can get get eligible and and, and he'll be a, play a big role for us. I mean, Kyle being a guy that's played a tons of football, made a lot of big plays for us over the years. So he's going to be that solid rock for us uh, going forward and uh, really excited about it. What have you seen from Nick so far? I guess I'm, I don't know how much you've gotten to work with him mm -hmm. closely. What have you seen from Nick so far? Yeah, I mean, similar to Keo as far as, you know, a really good route runner and able to get open and, um, just, just really, really attacks the ball well, and uh, you know, really, just has great ball skills and, and is able to stretch the defense from from that tight end position. Who else is working out there along with Kyle? And we know Chandler's kind of been, been dabbling mm -hmm. with it, but who else is out there? Yeah, I mean, really, they're all really all doing well. I mean, you know, Keyshawn, Tony, and, and Will Will Register uh, both out there making some plays and, and competing well. So, um, I really think a lot a lot of tight ends are going to a lot of playing time this year. They all got to be ready and uh, ready to help us. What, what, what did you see from the, the back of quarterback competition? And, and have you spoken to each of those guys? What did you guys kind of talk about after that was sort of settled? Um, you know, I've, I've talked to both of them. And, you know, they, you know, we have each had our own, you know, private conversations of just, you know, what they think, how I can help them in, in, in their respective situations. So uh, everything is great going forward. And I think everyone has a good good plan. And, and, the, and the good thing is everyone in our group and on our team wants to win. And that and that's the main thing is you know everyone wants to do what's best for the team and wants to win. Mood wise, where was Decarion after he got the news? I mean, I mean, it's fine. He just wants to win. Like I said, I mean, anybody, any competitor that you know gets any news is going to take it a certain way. But you know, he he just wants to win. Based on what you've seen of him, of him, do you think he could help this team in a different position? I, you know, I think so. I think so. I and mean, I think he's uh, you know a very explosive athlete and uh, is able to to make guys miss. And um, so I, I definitely think so. Uh, definitely very explosive with the ball in his hands. How do you feel your camp has gone? I feel like it went really well, really well. Went through, uh, you know, our, our two, you know, two big scrimmages, had, had no turnovers through there. Um, really, really didn't have any, you know, had, uh, had two tip balls in the first, I think the second practice, second practice of it. And then um, uh, I actually had one yesterday on third down. Miscommunication with me and Shaw, but. Yeah, other than other than those, you know, those few really haven't had a lot of turnovers and uh, really been a great camp. Really feel like I got a lot better, a lot better, a lot more confident. What's been the biggest step forward, both from Shy and from uh, Josh Van? I think uh, just just going to get the ball, just making the plays, you know, and and not, you know, you know, you know, letting the play. Well, they let the play come to them, but not just wanting the play to come to them. Go and make the play. Mm -hmm. You know, if the ball's a little bit off, going to make the play. And uh, just just really looking very good. Sort of like attacking through the cornerback rather than kind of waiting for the ball to arrive. Almost. Yeah, just just being really aggressive and mm -hmm. understanding that that they're really good players and they they, and they can go get the ball and, and make a lot of plays for us. You dad talked in the preseason just about how he's kind of sensed that this is your last year and he spent a little bit more time with you in the building. Have you noticed that? And do you kind of do the same thing? Oh well, you know, I think the the, the building being. You know, we're so close other than the stadium where it was, you know, two different sided. Being here and getting to see them more has been, been I think, part of that. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, whether that's at, you know, lunch or dinner throughout camp you know, or breakfast, just sitting together and just, you know, whether it's talking ball or just having guys run the table and just talking, just just really, really trying to cherish, you know, that that aspect of, you know, being the last year, but, but everything else as well. Do you feel like there's been any separation in terms of the running backs or is it still kind of just a mix at this juncture? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think Rico's really had his best camp since he's been here. And uh, you know, really, really looked good. You know, Feaster obviously looked came in and, and and looking really good too. And then Mon Mondi, you know, freaking making some plays. And then Kevin, mm -hmm. Kevin as well. So really, I mean, look at all of them. Really, have all made made some good plays for us. So um, you know, I think we're going to keep battling it out, and then and we'll see week one. What's different about Rico in your eyes? Oh, well, first of all, he's healthy. I mean, first of all, you know, he's 100% healthy and, and looks like Rico, you know, back freshman year against Tennessee, you know, running running it the way he's running it then. So um, just really, really looking good. And I think he's just a lot more confident. What's it been like working with Hank? Have you seen any drop-off snap-wise from him taking over that center spot? Oh, no, no. Hank's Hank's been very consistent with his snaps. You know, we've, we've – that's one thing during camp that we've – 
improved on a lot is communication with me and him, um, especially with the, the crowd noise that, that coach pumps in there, uh, especially in the indoor, it gets really loud. But yeah, being able to communicate uh, has, has been you know something we improved on a lot, and that's going to be huge going into the season. What kind of communication goes on between a quarterback and a center? Yeah, I mean, just trying to get on the same page as far as uh, you know which way to slide the line, you know which way the blitz is coming. You know, they 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 see it a little different than me um, being back there, and um, so just being on the same page. And that's that's really all it's about. Try to limit limit uh, any any pressure or any sacks. How much coaching of Tavian do you have to do, or has he kind of? Caught on pretty quickly with what he's supposed to do playbook wise. Yeah, um, you know I think he's caught on pretty quickly. You know I think, I think uh, you know anytime a guy gets kind of you know you know thrown in and and you know asked to learn it very fast, he's gonna need some help at times. But that's what that's what we do as quarterbacks. You know if he's sending right here, all I gotta do is you know tell him what he's got. So for the most part, he's he's confident in what he does and uh, executing it well. Would you be confident is, with him as a starter opening game? I mean yeah, I mean I think I'd be confident with any of the running backs going in week one. What stood out with the first team defense that you've gone against in two scrimmages now? You know, like I said about Rico, just all healthy. I mean, they're all out there, you know, and, and just looking really well, looking really explosive and just really, um, you know, really just competitive, I think, for the biggest thing. It's just each and every one of them wants to make a play and uh, just, you know, doesn't want us to get a yard at all. And whether it be JC or Israel or, or you know, Ken Law and, and DJ up front, you know, each and every play, they're bringing, bringing all they got. And uh, that's really going to help us offensively. And then it's going to be really, really big for the team uh, in the games. How's Ryan done this camp compared to the spring? Yeah, I think, I think he's done good. I think uh, he's, he's um, learned a lot. I think that's, that's a good, good way to put it. He's, he's been faced with a lot more situations this camp, you know, considering the, the depth we've had on defense and the amount of looks that they're able to give with that Garnet group. Um, you know, he's learned a lot, but uh, I think he's gotten a lot better. You've obviously spent a lot of time with, with Brian, whether going to media days or coming in together, things of that nature. What have you, what have you learned about him maybe off the field? Uh, yeah, I mean, you, so. yeah, I mean, Brian, Brian's a cool guy, man. He, he's really down to earth, really not a guy that, you know, that likes all the flashy stuff, just, just really a cool guy that just likes to hang out and, uh, you know, me, him, and Kiel will, you know, go play Uno or something, and just, just hanging out, just cracking jokes, playing games. Uh, just really, just a cool guy to hang out with. What's it like having Coach Kiel in the building? Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, Kiel, Kiel's me, you know, part of this team, you know, all year, and that's one thing. I called him when, you know, when all the new, when the news, when we found out what happened. Uh, just called him and, and let him know that he's still part of this team just as much as he would be if he was still playing. So um, he said, well, you know, we, we need you in the sideline looking, paying attention, you know, helping the tight ends, helping me. So, you know, he's going to be locked in, and, uh, and he's really going to be Coach Kiel because we're really going to need him. Yeah, Kyle said he already heard him. He already heard him yelling from the sideline. Oh, yeah. noticed him as a coach? Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. He's bringing the same energy he, he would if he was out there. So, and that's, and that's what I appreciate him, I think. As long as you know, he's gonna go through some tough times this season, not being out there. But as long as we're all behind him and uh, really just helping him, I think I think he'll be just fine.